Hiking dogs off leash is one of my favorite things to do. It's also my job. I do it Monday to Friday. Uh, the thing is, when we're taking dogs off leash and going out and enjoying all these beautiful spaces, we need to respect the experience of others and their space. So if you're unleashing your dog in these areas, you need to have them under control. So here's how I like to start that off-leash training with puppies that come into my life. In this next clip is Groot, the Husky Mix puppy. So we're just working on passive attention with him. When he turns his attention good. towards me, I say good and hold out a piece of food for him. So I'm not <laughs> calling stuff? him. Good. I'm not expecting him to do anything else. Good. After I mark the behavior that I like, yeah, which is him looking at me, puppy. I hold bring out the food puppy. and that food is given to him, no strings Good. attached. I'm not making him sit or stay or have Good. to do other behaviors first. What I'm rewarding is him being able to turn his attention Good. to me without me having to ask, especially with husky puppies. We're going to work on that a ton. Now, this clip is from the next day and we went to the same trail and you can see I wasn't marking and rewarding attention here, but oh, he would hi. go out, kind of walk around, yeah. look at Frankie, and then come over and sit in front of me to say, hey, lady, where's my cookie? So it shows how quickly you can get this kind of stuff rolling, teaching them, I really love it when you look at me, and I pay that quite generously oh. when it happens. So this is Layla. She's a six month old Springer Spaniel. And this was her third walk with me. So we're working on the same thing here Good. that we were working on with Groot. She's just a professional at it at this point. She picked it up so quick. So you'll notice she almost obsessively comes and checks in with me, which is great. I love that with Good puppies. girl, let's go. So she runs ahead and then runs right back because she knows that she's going to get a cookie. Very good. Ready? Find it. Another thing that you'll notice in this video is that sometimes I'm saying let's go girl, instead of giving go. her a cookie. Since she was picking up this so fast and she found it so much fun to be running back and getting a cookie, she was yeah. doing it... Not too much, but so much that I didn't want to be rewarding it every time with food. Since she is a dog who loves movement, sometimes I was using a let's go cue to mm -hmm. send her back into the woods. So what I don't have let's a video go. of is on the first couple walks that we did, she would come and get her cookie. And sometimes it wasn't just one cookie. I would give her a cookie, Very pause good. for a couple seconds. Give her another cookie, pause for a couple of seconds, give her another one, pause for a couple of seconds, and then say, let's go and start walking. So teaching her that when she comes over, even if I give her a cookie, we're waiting until we all start walking again, just let's to go. avoid having a dog who runs over, takes a cookie, and then flips me off and runs back into the woods. So I'm kind let's of go. splitting it up here between... Sometimes she's getting food, and sometimes she's getting a let's go and being sent back to go play. So it usually depends on what it looks like. If she was running around like this, usually if she comes over, yeah. I'll give her a piece let's of go. food. Right there, we were kind of working on, can she stay sitting and looking at me for a couple seconds? And then I re <laughs> reinforce that stillness and attention with being Sit. sent back into the woods yeah. to go chase and run around with the puppies. it. Go get it. Nice. Good girl. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Good. Sit. Let's go. <laughs> Give me your monkey. 
yum. So we've done our passive attention where when she checks in with me and looks at me, she gets a cookie. So we've done this enough that she is looking at me often. And she looks and wait, we'll just wait a second. Good. I say good. She comes and gets a cookie. Now that she's a professional at it, I'm going to start adding, good girl, I'm going to start adding what I want my recall word to be. Because I already have her coming when I say good. Now I want to start having her come when I say her name. So let's see what this looks like. I'm just going to wait until she looks but isn't running towards me. But she's running all the time, so. So when she looks, Layla! Yeah! Good girl. And while she's coming, I bring out my inner cheerleader. Layla! Yay! Good girl! Good girl! Layla! Yes! Nice job. Whoops. Good. Let's go. So when she stops and looks, Layla! Good! <laughs> yeah! Good monkey! Let's go! So this is what I turn my passive attention into. Hi monkey! Let's go! And I have my let's go to mean we're gonna walk again. Layla! Good! So good! Oh so good! Yeah! Let's go.